Steve Barker side are having. They've already got one trophy in the bag, as do Orlando Pirates, of course, having already won the MTN 8. They want to add another one, and their fans have come out in their numbers. Amanda Damini, the former Bayana Bayana captain, is alongside me uh, this uh, evening. And uh, phew, what an atmosphere out there, Amanda. What an occasion totally different the approach is totally different so don't read too much into the league form let me just confirm for you a match officials a man from george based out in uh, cape town these days masikole bambi so he's assisted by mudise Muretsi and tabamutong uh, 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 those are our match officials this morning this evening eugenie mjuli our fourth official Second time of asking, we are underway. It is Netbank Cup. It, this is the third of the quarterfinals. It's Amazulu in the green, the home side in the green, and under Pirates to get us underway. And they are in uh, all black. As in Nyaman and Kani, the defending champions looking to stay on track to win what would be their 10th title in this competition uh, over the years in its various guises uh, since they first won it way back in 1973 50 years ago so they are looking to go one better and uh, defend the trophy that they won uh, last year and in the process uh, they will pick up their fifth netbanger cup trophy since uh, it's been known as the netbank cup now early on pirates making the the early running here looking to get on the front foot and i think they know they will be up against the damasu they will be up against a team that are in supreme that are in confident mood and with as is this man already a contender for player of the season for Orlando pirates one must say he's been absolutely fantastic in his first season with the club it's going to be very important uh, is in the uh, Amazulu's defensive efforts here. I think together with uh, Veli Mota, you get a sense he's going to be a very a key man in this game. It's the attack of Orlando Pirates versus the defense of uh, Amazulu. Good running here from Remy in a cutback. Just didn't connect there. What a that's a po most positive move. Let's wallow. He knows that was a great chance. Just didn't connect. Yep, he knows. And these are the moments where Amazon are going to be very clinical, especially when they get those rare opportunities on the transition or when they force those turnovers. Litsualo, a goal poacher in his nature, he knows he missed a big, big opportunity. In terms of options on the bench, they do have uh, Augustin Chidiquem. They do have the two Augustins, Munenga and uh, Chidiquem, and they still have City Dion. You made the you made the comment, uh, Toki, um, of a uh, that. Uh, Looks like the coach is, uh, wants to win the game off the bench. Now, Hanamu. It's a looking ball. Oh, Hato playing it into danger. Oh, 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 oh. Eckstein smashes one past. Jane, what a goal. It was a casual little clearance from Dion Hato with a back flick. And he's been punished for his cockiness. What a strike. against the run of play but having weathered the storm in that first quarter of an hour Amazon have been coming into this game more and more and more what a strike his second in this netbank cup Bule Eckstein but what a ball here as well what a delivery from Hanamu Dion Hato with the kind of experience should have done a lot better he should know that cannot take risks in the box especially clearance like that and a lurking Hendrik Ekstien who we've been praising for his form this season absolutely. takes full advantage with a thunderous shot nothing China could do absolutely Amanda that just captures the man's form at the moment Bule Ekstien is that guy at the moment is the guy he thinks he is mm, absolutely he is stunning this massive pirates now We're looking to get on level terms before the break here great turn steal here from uh, 16 they don't have numbers in this attack 
Next team couldn't get it out wide. He was trying to get Skakani. He was out on the overlap, but now he's out of position, Skakani. And goes the... Oh, the referee's pointed to the spot penalty. The foul on Mahala. Mahala got up and celebrated like it scored. Martin is not happy. That's the last thing that Damazulu needed after all the hard work is now going to be undone by a moment of uh, ill-discipline. We'll have a look at it again in a moment. Didn't look like there was much in it. It looked like maybe a shove in the back. Veli Mortra is going to now have to try and pull off a stop to keep his side in it. The penalty will stand up. Talk to us, talk to us, talk to, to us through this one. Oh. Big call from the referee. Massive call. It didn't look like there was a lot in there. Not a lot in there. Makaola knew where he was. Feliz just caught there. Feliz uh, protesting his innocence there. Yeah. Says uh, it didn't touch him. But Makaola, the way he celebrated that one. It was like, I love it when the plan comes together. Oh, man. Who's got the ball in hand? Mabasa missed the penalty, of course, in that uh, route of uh, arrows. And now, Veli Motobi giving the bit of advice as to which way this one might go. Who's got the ball in hand? Doesn't mean that's going to be the taker, by the way. Whoever has the ball in hand, it doesn't mean he'll be the taker. Could be a ploy just to put them off. Now it's Maswangani, by the looks of things. Let's yep. put it down. Yep. Tito Maswangani, five goals this campaign for him and what a time to concede a penalty can pirates draw level maswanami sends a keep on the wrong way we are all square we are all square maswanami gets his first of the net pen cup his sixth of the season and what a time to get it. Crucial time indeed to get this goal from Maswangani. A well taken spot kick. Waits for the goalkeeper, Veli Motwa, to commit. And he slots it the other way. And once again, I thought this was a really, really tough call on Phillies. An extension of hands, you may say. But very well converted by Maswangani. Sends the keeper the wrong way, but beautifully disguised. The beautifully disguised by Maswarangi. And Pirates are back level, game on. Amazulu, all the great work that they've done now, undone by what they will definitely feel was a harsh call. It's Kakani, beautifully done. X team, what a first half he's had. Banjo. Side me for this one. What would have been the conversation from the two coaches? By the way, just to say that there have been no changes from either side um, at the break. What uh, would have been the different uh, voices saying in the uh, two dressing rooms? Especially for the Land of Pirates team, let us play the Land of Pirates way. Forming those triangles, much more ball control, ball rotation as well. And involving a player like Mabasa, get him on the ball, Livito get him on the ball, but of course for Mazuri as well, let's stay in the game, let's do much more like we did in the first half, find that reference in Moremi, and when the opportunity presents itself, definitely convert. Bit of panic there from Stakani, and he's giving it away in a dangerous territory, thought about the shot, did Mufuking, ended up not uh, taking it now. Cabello Zameni there, and the block from Tariq Filiz. Game starting like a uh, second half starting like the first one did with Pirates uh, uh, putting on the early pressure there. The bits of throw in. It's going to be a throw in for Amazulu. And if you're an, uh, from an Amazulu point of view, as you said, yeah, more of uh, Moremi. He's uh, running socks off there. So Sunday being put under pressure there. Good work here from Amazulu. This is going to be easy for the keeper.
lost it again. Uh, that's been a feature here. Great stuff here from Axton! Oh, what a challenge! What a challenge, and they celebrated uh, the defender and uh, the goalkeeper there. Maela, what a challenge there! Uh. It was a great ball to release Axton, and he did excellently as well. Yeah, it all starts with Lamini just making that loose pass into that midfield. He turned it over very quickly. XTN in, first touch, opens up his body. But Sasane, that tackle, absolutely amazing. He's still got a long way to go though in the second half of this one. Referee's given a free kick. There was a little foul there on the... Tarek Phillips needs to watch it. The referee is reaching for his pocket. He will book him for descent. It looks like he will. Tarek Phillips is going to get booked here by the looks of things. I think, uh, I think it was just one too many calls that went against him. And uh, I think he said something that's going to be a place. Uh, he better watch it. He needs to calm down. And his captain, uh, Rama Patel, needs to have a word here. Because uh, Phillips could... Uh, well, talk his way to a red card here. And that's the first caution of the game. Then a clear foul there. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's kind of nowhere near the ball. Yeah. Just went through the player there. I don't know why Phillies was getting involved in that uh, unnecessarily. And he's earned himself a yellow now. He's going to have to be very careful. That man won't be happy with the way the calls. He feels maybe too many calls have gone against him. But they've given away a free kick in a very dangerous position now at Pirates. It's a very dangerous situation here. As very more tries to line up uh, his wall. Now, who will it be for Pirates? It's a number of players that are involved in that committee on the ball. John Hotto, we know his abilities. Young uh, Mufu King standing off it. He looks interested. Mabasa, of course, would be an option. As would Cabello Zamini. He's also quite capable from uh, this situation. He's more about placement than power, though. Hotto can produce both. It's Camilo Zabini! Zabini really says there! A bit of a stunning cake there from Veli Motto. They were out Fox there. A training ground routine that has worked to perfection. And uh, how costly was that the free, that the foul on Mufukeg? And uh, they produced a beautiful set piece of Pirates. Uh, and they've turned First goal in the Netbank Cup this season gives Pirates the lead for the first time in the game. Very cleverly worked, Amanda Zamini. Absolutely brilliant from Governor Zamini. Not too much power, just cushions it way past Velimutwa. That wall, Amazulu, just breaks, finds that little bit of a gap, and tucks it in nicely into that corner. I did say he's all about placement rather than power. Yep. Nothing that uh, Velimota could do about that. Well beyond his reach. And uh, Pirates have turned it around. Governor Zamini with only his second goal of the season. Well, certainly changes in that midfield. I think a player like Muremi has ran his socks off, but your players like Wade Yuster as well can give you that little bit of tactical flexibility in that midfield, but also quite advanced. Getting those crosses, the likes of Dion coming in, maybe as a reference in the striking force, certainly, definitely changes to be made. Yeah, and his physicality can put himself about and cause problems for the likes of uh, Sisani there. And 
and uh, in that defense, uh, just give him something to think about uh, with a bigger man. A different sort of uh, proposition he would be. Floated in by Mubarak to the back post. Oh, is it a long goal? A flare that's an OG. That looked like an old goal. Oh, what a game this is turning out to be. It's too long. That's a dangerous ball floated in there. But uh, Tariq Williams is getting the blood. It's a must. I guess it's a, his goal. It looked a bit like an old. Well, Tariq Williams is from man. Uh, Village to hero. What a response that is from Amazon. It didn't take long. Oh, wow. That's a Phoenix goal all day. No, I'm going about it, but look at this. How he twists. That is an excellently executed header. Oh. Well, well executed header. He appears to be unmarked. Sasani on him. Makola as well. But not really rising with him to give him so much leverage he gets a free header we've seen this so many times you can see the penalty uh, oh, what a, whoa, Otto just uh, with a goal line clearance there it wasn't the most effective of clearances oh and asking the question again there was asking did that not come off uh, uh, was it a crossbar Oh my word, look at this from X team. He went with the insta but a crossbar. I thought Hotto had made a goal and Karen's it comes skids off the top of the crossbar. Oh wow. What a strike. I think he went with the instep as a if you wanna dial the clock back uh, even longer. DDA is cool say. There's another Masake native who have, has won the black and white of Orlando Pirates before moving to Kaiser Seaswear, of course. He made, I think it was there that uh, he had more glory years. So, Levito got caught in the face there. And uh, Mazzola have given away a free kick. This is um, uh, some distance out, but uh, Carolo Damini still interested. This is one way look uh, to pick out someone in the box. See the target uh, is that Mabasa standing in an offside position? Yeah. He's showing the where they kind of giving him a target. Goes to the back post instead. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness! It's Mahona! It's Mahona that pulses as they fail to deal with the second ball. It falls for Mahona. And who's quickest to react? Is it Salen? Maybe that's came in that one. Take a look at this. Well floated ball from Jamini. Salen brings it back. It's Mahaula. Second ball falls on Mahaula. Does not need any second invitation. And slots it past through Velimoto. That will disappoint uh, Pablo Martin that uh, Salem won that one in front of two. Look, it was in between two big men in Dion and uh, Mubala behind him. And uh, just a uh, uh, moment relapses and you get punished in this game. What a game this has been. Five goals. Talent in Bartai, Durban Boy, by the way. Get gliding past uh, Ramon Pasele. Oh! And uh, good improvisation there from the keeper. Danger not going yet. Maswandangi! Maswandangi! Wraps it up! Oh, wow! What a performance!
Carlos Hongani. It just keeps getting better and better, but wonderful work from Mbata. Wonderful work from Mbata. He chooses his moment, does brilliantly to get past Mbatele, who's been absolutely brilliant this evening. 1v1 situation. Look at that control. Look at that composure in the box, linking up with Mabasa. Tito says he wants it back. Yet again, the Pirates get the better of Amazon in a cup game. What a finish. No chance. When he puts it, uh, smacks it so hard and into the corner. That's his brace. Tito Masonani. And there it is. There it is. It's the final whistle to confirm that the defending champions march on. Boy, they were definitely given a, given a scare. What a performance by both these teams. Amanda Mini, let's get you to sum it up for us. Yeah, Titi, very exciting encounter between these two teams. I think we all knew that we were going to get goals, but not as many as this evening. But of course, Orlando Pirates just being the ones who have been on top of the game, controlling the match. In another cup competition, Pirates become the third player, then, uh, the third team rather, that will go into the into the ball when the draw is done tomorrow night. They join Mamelodi Sundowns and Stellenbosch. My goodness, that's two